You like food, right? So do I. But what if we made it monstrous? Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Goonfly, and today we're gonna make the food something quite monstrous, I guess you could say. So pretty much today we're gonna turn food into monsters, I guess, or mutated creatures or you know whatnot. So pretty much I'm gonna take two kind of foods and something, I guess you could say something sweet and something savory. So pretty much we're gonna be taking two different things. One of the ones is we're gonna turn uh we're gonna turn a cupcake into something quite hmm not quite nice. <laughs> but pretty much what I'm gonna do is of course the first the kind of how we're gonna do it is we're gonna draw the actual food item, what it would look like, and obviously my style. And then we'll turn then we'll draw it again, but something quite monstrous, something you might not want to meet or go what is going on? I guess you could say it's kind of like a dark side of like what the your food would be. <laughs> so um, we're just gonna jump. We're gonna jump right into it, and yeah, it should be quite interesting. So um, I should say we're gonna do two things. That's interesting as well. We're gonna do two things, not just one, because you know, kind of like get something. We're gonna do something sweet, something savory. You know, kind of like balance it. So anyway, guys. Let's jump right into it and uh, yeah, let's see how we get on.
Oh, ho, 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 man. That was quite satisfying. I guess the monstrous kind of way, but as you guys can kind of see, we did something quite interesting with the cupcakes. Obviously, you guys know that obviously I drew the first part first to kind of go with something like that. Then obviously took that and made it something quite... Well, I don't know a monster. It's a cupcake and a monster. So, yeah. So pretty much as you can see, I pretty much wanted to make sure that it was much darker, the darker colors, because obviously it's something that's turned into something quite monstrous. It's got the teeth, you've got the tongue, kind of like that, and then obviously it's got the, the, just the drool coming down from its mouth. And obviously kind of dulled, it, dulled the cream a little bit, looked like made the actual, um, what do you call that bit in the cupcake? It's the... I completely, I completely forgot. But you know, guys, what you know what I mean. You, need, you take the bit off the, the paper, but the paper bit made it look like it's been ripped through with the actual like red velvet legs. I guess I don't know if it would taste nice, but it's supposed to be rotten. I guess you could say so. Probably wouldn't advise eating it. No, no. <laughs> so that is does done that one. But of course, we're not done yet. We're doing another one. So. The one that obviously I've picked for this one is we're gonna be doing a pizza. We're gonna do the exact same. We're gonna draw. We're gonna approach. We're gonna draw it first. What it would look like normally, and then monsterize it. So let's jump into that one and see what we can do with this one.
And there you guys have it. Another one's done. We've just turned something that's usually delicious into something quite interesting. And again, Mosh is like, <laughs> so as you can see, we have turned a slice of pizza, pepperoni pizza, into looking normal to then obviously quite interesting. So this one, I actually had a little bit more fun with this one. So obviously we kind of went, we've kind of gone for the big, so the other one kind of had like, like a spider kind of thing. This looks like it's actually turning into something bigger. So this is like mid transformation. It's got big, massive feet and kind of like its claws kind of coming out. And the actual bit that's usually like the kind of the bread with the cheese is kind of like separating and the, obviously it's the tongue. And of course what we've done is obviously for the bits that's kind of like written apart, it's the, it's the tomato base. So pretty much, yeah, it's a, it's a monster, but in a way, it's made of, it's made of food. It's kind of like, it's, it's food, right? It's, it's food, but it's monsterized pretty much. So, and I actually had a lot of fun with these. These were quite fun. So... I was trying to think of something interesting, something I guess you could say outside the box. Um, to be fair, I think some few people have kind of done that, but I want this is the way I want to do it, you know. So I should probably mention these are two of my favorite foods for Evolve Cake and that. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming to this part. You, not only did you watch the first part, you, you watched the second part as well. Thank you guys so much for watching both. I had a lot of fun with these. These were this was quite fun. Um, I obviously plan to do actually take two versions or whatever. I don't know. Just try to change things up. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have been awesome. I'll see you guys later. And, uh, yeah, see you later. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. You can also check me out on social media on these platforms here. I also have a shop you can check here. And you can check out these videos to see more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys later.